first uh, first got into football with South End. So I mean, I started there as a as a young lad at 14, and uh, spent you know a long time there. Uh, signed pro- professional forms when I was uh, 16. Um, I think I was the youngest player to play at South End at the time. Um, you know that that was uh, that was a great occasion for me, and uh, you know I had a lot of happy memories there. Spent three years at Crystal Palace uh, under Steve Coppell. Uh, moved on to to Ipswich under uh, John Duncan and John Lyle. Spent sort of two and a half seasons there, and then finished at Bristol City with uh, Russell Osmond. So, you know, I had a I had a super career. You know, I was uh, I'm immensely proud of what I achieved as a player. You know, not, not many people get to do what they, you know, be a professional footballer. And it was fantastic to be that. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a, a, a great time. But I'm enjoying my time there as a, as a manager and a coach. Previous to that, so when I went to uh, Ipswich, I was lucky enough to be under John Lyle. Uh, unfortunately, I had a, a lot of injuries at, at that particular time, and uh, eventually had to retire at Bristol City at 31 through. So it was an opportunity for me to watch and learn and observe. But uh, I learned a lot of my uh, coaching and, and listened and learned a lot from John Lowe. He was a he was a super coach, um, you know, a lovely man to boot. He played football the right way. He treated people correctly. And uh, you know, a lot of my early uh, early stuff came from John. I had to finish at 31, and um, at, at that stage, I'd already done some of my badges, um, and I ended up uh, going to Canby under Jeff King. And I played for uh, a couple of years because it was part time. I was getting away with it, but I ended up in uh, so much pain because I've had to have a, a replacement hip that. Uh, you know, Jeff asked me whether I would uh, uh, like to become his coach, and we managed to get him promoted from the from the bottom echelons of, of of the league right the way through to the national conference. You know, and and having two FA Trophy final appearances, winning one of them, I, I enjoyed my coaching there. I, you know, I learnt a lot. You know, having having to deal with players, and and it's a different different mentality in the non-league. You know, it's a different mindset. It's not uh, not the same as a professional game. You have to take into account, you know, people's work commitments and their home life, etc. You know, it's a it's a massive commitment from players and for uh, for the staff as well. You know, to to be out two or three nights a week and the weekend, and uh, you know, you have to uh, you have to adjust yourself to that and make sure you know your your, your coach and adjust it to that as well. I'm a school teacher. I'm a PE teacher at uh, Crowstone Preparatory School. My headmaster is very good. He gives me the he allows me the time off. He's a football man himself, so he understands it completely. My wife is always here, so you know that's uh, that's great. She supports me 100%, which is brilliant. You know this club, this uh, is a it's a big club in non-league terms. You know we've got a magnificent fan base. I've got a lot of young boys at the football club, and they're, they're exciting young players. They you know they want to do well. They want to be professional footballers. Every single game they go out there and they they give it all for me. You know they run through brick walls for me. And as long as they keep that honesty and keep learning and keep progressing, you know I've I've got a, a bunch of players that if they stick together could go a long way. And I played in uh, you know lots of FA Cups. But probably the one that, that sticks in the memory as a giant killing, I suppose, was uh, the Bristol City uh, game at Anfield when we uh, we won one nil uh, in some mauve and green kit, horrible kit. But uh, that certainly you know brought back memories. I think the furthest I ever got in it, unfortunately, I wasn't I wasn't involved. So I was I think I was on loan at the time at Bristol City was uh, the quarterfinals against uh, Arsenal when I was at Ipswich. Um, but you know the FA Cup has always got great memories. I mean, it's a special, special cup. You know, it's never lost any of its magic for me. And uh, there's always a different buzz. There's always a different air about match day when when it's the FA Cup. You know, whether it's the uh, the qualifying rounds or whether in the, you're in the rounds you are now. So, you know, I've uh, I've got great memories, and I'm hoping to to fill my memory bank with a few more.